Drum roll, please. Yeah, I mean, if you're wondering why I have an African drum, your guess is as good as mine. Viewers, I'm very excited for today's video. There's a new AI in AI Town. You see, most of the AIs that I have covered on this channel before that you've seen across the internet have been focused on trying to do everything all at once. Let's do photography, let's do, you know, drawn art, let's do psychedelic art, let's do macro photography. They just want to do everything all at once. And while that might seem great, it can't really do everything well now, can it? I mean, some models get pretty close, like Dolly 2 and Mid Journey V4. This model we're talking about today, this brand new model, it tries to do one thing and it tries to do that one thing well. And honestly, I think they kind of nailed it. Now, if you already were in my Discord, for example, you might know about this model. But I spent the entirety of this morning messing around with it, and I've come to some pretty good conclusions about it. By the way, if you want to try this model for yourself, it is completely free at the moment. I believe it's in some sort of an open beta. But what is this model, you might be wondering? It's a model known as Aperture by the creators of the website Lexica. If you remember, I covered Lexica in a video previously. It's been a little bit, but Lexica is this website that's known for or its ability to catalog a bunch of stable diffusion generations. And you can search Lexica for any number of tens of millions of AI generations, all made in Stable Diffusion, and Stable Diffusion Generation is on Lexica as well. However, they've developed their own model, which I believe is based off of Stable Diffusion, known as Aperture. I should just stop talking about it and show you guys for yourself. Now, in case you guys haven't seen it before, this is the Lexica website. As you guys can see, there are tons of generations to view from here. You can like different generations, you can search for images. However, if you click the link in the description, you'll be brought to the Aperture Generation tab. And you do have to sign in for this, but you can use like a Google account or anything. And as you can see, this is sort of the Aperture setup here. We've got dimensions to pick from, we've got super widescreen to super tall screen, I guess you could call it, or really portrait mode, and you can go all the way down to a basic square. And then we've also got guidance scale as well, pretty much anything from guidance scale number 5 to number 8 is the range you want to be in for good imagery. And then they've also got this experimental setting to fix double heads, which hasn't really done anything good for me personally when testing out Aperture. Now, the whole point behind Aperture is that this model here is supposed to be really good at photography or photorealistic imagery. That's basically all it tries to do. It doesn't try to do any kind of abstract art or anything weird like Mid Journey. It's just focused on basic photos. And I gotta say, it really tackles this task well. Let's do something pretty basic, photo of a farmer on the moon. And I gotta say, it generates pretty quickly as well. The photos we get back are definitely pretty reminiscent of Stable Diffusion, but they're actually very coherent. As you can see, these are just a bunch of spacemen, which isn't really too surprising, but we did get one image of a farmer, who I guess could be on the moon. This wasn't a very good first example. We'll do a photo of Elon Musk on the moon. This should be more impressive. There we go, okay. So we've got some basic moon-like photos, a rocket taking off, and then we did get one photo of Elon Musk though, and I gotta say, it did a pretty good job with Elon here. His hand doesn't look too mangled, the clothes actually look like they're pretty good on his body, and it definitely looks pretty reminiscent of Elon Musk. I suppose he could be on the moon in this photo, although the moon definitely has an atmosphere at the time this photo was taken. Famous people really do seem to be a huge strong suit of this Aperture model, even more so than I would consider for something like Stable Diffusion. This example right here, photo of Elon Musk and Snoop Dogg, I mean, come on, these are looking pretty good. Snoop Dogg is definitely hanging out with Elon in these pictures. They look pretty realistic, especially this one, which is definitely like a self-portrait selfie. I would consider this pretty realistic. We've also got this one as well, which is pretty funny. Definitely looks a decent amount like Snoop Dogg. Uh, Elon's a little interesting here. I don't, I've never known him to have hair that is this long, but here it is in this photo. And then we've got another one here with Snoop Dogg hang hanging out with Elon Musk and another Snoop Dogg over here as well. That is something I've also noticed a lot with this model. It likes to duplicate people. But I mean, this one honestly could almost pass as a real photo. It's really, really close. You guys also should pay attention here that the generation is super high resolution. There is some automatic upscaling going on in these photos for sure, and I gotta say it is pretty decent. This is not baby upscaling here, this is good upscaling. 
By the way, you can also add negative things into prompts here. This is if you're trying to get really specific with your prompts. I've noticed it doesn't really work that great necessarily, but it could be useful. So now we've got Snoop Dogg with the world's largest cheeseburger, and a few of these turned out all right, I guess, or one of them. That's definitely a really coherent, huge cheeseburger, and Mr. Snoop Dogg here seems to be uh, posing for a photo with it. Uh, I don't know who that is. I guess maybe it's Selena Gomez. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of does look like Selena Gomez a little bit. I don't know who this woman is. It's probably just the completely artificially generated woman. But this cheeseburger right here is actually pretty delicious looking and very coherent. No Snoop Dogg, though. Yeah, completely fell on its face with this photo of a random house here. And I don't think I really need to say much about this one here. Um, pretty disturbing. Here is one I generated earlier with the same exact prompt. And yeah, as you just saw, these are very, very high resolution generations for sure. There's a lot of detail in here. Really nice to see that people are now pushing for higher resolution art just right off the bat. I really like to see that. This is a very, very high res image. It's actually 2048 by 3072. You'll also notice on my community tab on my YouTube channel, I post some more examples of photos. And these again were really centered around famous people. So we've got Donald Trump here hanging out with Joe Biden. They actually both look pretty slick in their suits there. But I just think it's really funny that you can put two people that, uh, publicly hate each other just hanging out. I think that's pretty funny. It also raises some questions though. If you can generate something that looks this good, what could you generate, you know, that could be harmful to other people? So that's definitely a problem, like an ethical issue. And I've seen you guys debate that a lot in the comments. You know, what are the ethics of generating photorealistic people doing things? A lot of people bring up the argument that Photoshop has been around for years, but not everyone knows how to use Photoshop, and this is a lot easier to make. But yeah, I find these photos pretty humorous, to say the least. I just love seeing these two uh, political figures hanging out. You know, maybe if they gave each other a chance, they'd be best friends. You never know. But gotta say, the coherency department here, the faces look absolutely incredible. They look real. Like, this almost looks like a passable photo. The clothes look really, really good as well. Very realistic. The setting in the back Background, not to the worst I've seen, but it's not, you know, completely selling on this looks real. The people really are the main star of the show here with Lexica's aperture model. You can also see there were some more examples. Alan Turing receiving the Nobel Prize here in this photo. Very realistic as well. The human faces and the bodies look pretty good. The hands actually look shockingly good as well. JFK posing in the White House Oval Office with Marilyn Monroe. This one is pretty fantastic as well. The hands look good. The faces again, the bodies, all that looks pretty good. He looks a little bit on the fake side for some reason, but overall it's a pretty decent photo. This one was pretty humorous. Elon Musk hanging out with Dr. Fauci. Ouchy. Pretty funny, uh, they look very close here in this photo, I must say. Again, I love the images of two people that seemingly don't like each other, just hanging out and being best friends. I just find it really funny. Okay, this one was really funny as well. This is a 35mm photo of Donald Trump disassembling a PC in a data center. That's just hilarious. He's literally a PC repairman, he's just working in there. This is what I think AI art should be used for in terms of celebrities. Photo of Messi here playing cricket, Einstein in feudal Japan. Alan Turing as an astronaut. Einstein looking pretty sweet with, I don't know, some vehicle here. I guess it could be like an Audi or some fancy vehicle. This one is actually shockingly good here of, I guess this would be a Maserati, but you know, just portraits in general, like artistic portraits, fashion designer model portraits look really, really good too. You can see just straight up Obama portrait here, again, looking pretty good. Almost got the right amount of fingers here, a little bit too much on this side, this side looks like it's pretty good. But yeah, most models can't do hands as well as Lexica's aperture seems to be able to. Uh, we've got five Spider-Mans. Seems like you can also tackle things that aren't people like maybe some different kinds of birds. These are very, very unique alien birds for sure. And even some different spaces like different room styles as well seems to be a strong suit. I mean, it is really crazy what you can get up to with Lexica's aperture model. And if you guys generate anything cool, as I always say, please send it to my Discord. I would really love to check it out. We've got Donald Trump as Thanos, apparently. And this one, I guess, turned out all right. He kind of looks a little bit Thanos-y. But we've got actual Thanos in the background here. Uh, sort of kind of getting there. He's in a Thanos-ish outfit, I suppose. This one's pretty funny. This does look like a screenshot from like a Marvel movie as Donald Trump as a superhero. Kind of funny. And he's next to a more corrupt and weird looking Donald Trump character. 
And then this is another one with just several Donald Trumps and other characters and what looks like it could be a Marvel movie screenshot. We've got more imagery kind of in the same vein. A lot of duplicate Donald Trumps I've noticed and uh, duplicate characters in general. Okay, this one gave me a little bit of a laugh. This is Markiplier jumping off a cliff. It does kind of look like him and he seems to just be backwards jumping off of a cliff. That's pretty funny. It also does pretty decent Walter White's here. Now, this is clearly supposed to be Jesse, but with Walter White's face, which is weird, and this is a full Walter. Um, he is also apparently jumping off a cliff in this photo, which is kind of funny. He just looks like he's hovering there. It's, it's very strange. Here is Walter White apparently becoming the president. He looks more like a businessman than anything else in this photo. Uh, we got a random picture of a car with this one. Very strange. Uh, this is just terrifying. Walter White's face has been applied to this woman, and that is actually a pretty decent Walter White, though, I must say. And this is a very nice photo as well, it seems. The sh details in the shirt are actually really, really good. Here is uh, Walter White apparently hanging out with Markiplier. Walter White doesn't exactly look like Walter White in this photo, but I mean, it's kind of close there. It looks like just this kind of random guy, but the rest of the Markipliers actually look pretty decent, I think. Here is apparently Obama and Walter White sharing ice cream, and it really does seem to be mixing their faces up. Uh, I love the double Obama in this one. Again, there's a lot of clones walking around the Lexica Aperture universe. So yeah guys, you let me know what you think down in the comments below of this Lexica Aperture model. Definitely try it out for yourself. This is definitely the most fun that I've had exploring a text -to image AI since Midjourney V4 released, which wasn't that long ago, but yeah, this is a very, very exciting model. There's so many capabilities and so much you can do with it, and I'd love to see what you guys make with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.